Hi, I'm Martin Barr from Now We Are Talking TV. I'm here at the Melbourne Convention Centre for the Telstra Enterprise and Government Roadshow, where TEG will highlight video collaboration technology to key enterprise customers. David Thody will also talk about how this technology will improve productivity and we'll hear from partners like Microsoft and Cisco and other executives. So let's cross to this event now. We're going to use the technology now in the first of these uh, experiences and I'm actually going to connect David Thody, who is in Canberra with, uh, with budget responsibilities. Good morning, David. This morning is a, a very important discussion with our customers framed around productivity. But the challenges we all face is to do more with less or more with the same amount we've got. Uh, our, our approach within Telstra, because I have to be, well, more and more poorly because they're getting across all our major investments uh, in the transformation, is that w we are saying we must continue to transform or change the fundamental basis of which how we do business, because I know that next year and the year after, uh, it, I'm going to have the same challenges. Uh, so if I stop now, I'm just delaying the problem. Uh, and with many of the, the ways we do business, uh, you know, the service we deliver, uh, you know, while it's hard to keep going, we've made a very conscious decision we must. If we just use a couple of government examples and, and maybe the health industry, uh, we use the example of Lod and Mallee where they are now using video conferencing technology to make the skills and the experience of senior doctors available to rural and regional located health service organisations. And so it just makes a huge difference to uh, a health department in how they can think about providing world-class services to the whole of our uh, regions and, and rurally and, and remotely located people, as opposed to it being a privilege of those living in the city. What do those using this technology say? What are the, uh, the health practitioners saying? What are those uh, the, the patients saying that are using the bedside module? What are, what's the feedback being like? Oh, fantastic. They realise that it's a, it's a great unit to have in next to the, the patient. It actually lifts the spirits of the patient to be able to feel that they have the ability to contact their family and and uh, and also you know be able to be rested and entertained you know, at the bedside. I think people are uh, feeling as though they, they can really do something now with video conferencing that will be quite different to where they've been in the past. And so in the past where they may not have had access to the quality of network and bandwidth, they may not have had high definition. Uh, and they may not have had simple to use operating systems, they're now looking at a whole different world where the capacity is available, our IP networks are reliable and available and the operating systems mean that the ability to start and manage and then close down video experiences are quite different. So it's, I, I think they are now willing to explore how they can use these services to reduce costs, get people out of planes and out of their cars, working more productively, make a contribution to the environment, but do it in a way where a customer or a, an end user feels satisfied and uh, has enjoyed the interaction using video uh, technology.